to go to law school. Oh, okay. And yeah, and I thought about, because I really want to help, like, families who are, like, kids who have been molested or yeah. like, sexually assaulted, so I think I might be, like, pros prosecuting, yeah. like, family prosecuting, maybe. Yeah. Wow. I have Frankel, because he was, yes. like, you can, like, use your past as an advantage in the use of the future, and I've, like, taken that with me a lot. Okay. Yeah. Wow. You find the, you think it's a fundamental meaning of life is equal. Yeah. This is Dr. Lo from Tiffany University, and I have Ariana with me. And I'll let Ariana introduce yourself. Um, I'm Ariana. I'm a forensic psychology student here at the University. Yeah. Um, I'm a junior. Yeah. Uh, I only have one more semester left here because then I'm going to Washington in the spring. Wow, you go to Washington, D.C. for internship. Yeah. What made you interested about this major? Um, in a high school, I took a psychology class. Yeah. And in my abnormal psychology class, I really liked it because I like to diagnose all the people in my oh, family. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. So for, I, I am very impressed because when you're in the class, you always smile <laughs> and you listen and you ask him questions. So I'd like to see what Ariana there, what were you thinking when you were in the class? Oh, I learn by like, like doing and like experiencing like i like to like ask questions so i can see how it would apply like in like real life like when we learn learn the counseling i want to know how that's really going to like help people and how it happens already yeah <laughs> i think you have that face that's a, just very friendly is the people tell you about that yeah <laughs> they right? think i'm a very like open yeah person. very open very easy to kind of like get connection yeah. So like in the class, if nobody look at me, I just look at Ariana. Oh. <laughs> she is smiling. <laughs> she is listening to my story. <laughs> right. So how's your experience so far in college life? Um, my first year was really hard because yeah. I didn't have that many friends and yeah. like I kind of like isolated myself a lot. Oh. Okay. And the town, I feel like this is like a very boring town. Yeah. Like, but and my second year, I met like my roommates. And, yeah. Like, it was a lot better, and yeah. I started to like to find the beauty in the town. Yeah, I like really like it here actually. Oh. Yeah. So in that time, you never think about I'm quitting, I'm leaving. You never had that mind. Yeah. No. No, not no. really. That's good though. I guess like I really like this school. I like my teachers a lot, and like yeah. that's never been a doubt in my mind that this okay. school isn't gonna teach me something. Okay. But I the just need social... to get used to the environment and yeah. the social. Mm -hmm. Wow. So then when you start to have a friend second year, did you initiate to make friends or did they just come along? Which way? I started to initiate and then it was actually really hard to become friends at first because I felt like they didn't really like want to get to know me. But oh, really? then we were kind of like forced to get to know each other because we were oh, always really? doing like forced to get things. to know each other. <laughs> yeah, but she's my best friend now and I love her. Wow. Yeah. So don't make a quick decision before you know everything. Yeah. Wow. And now, what's your plan for the, before you go to Washington, D.C.? I want to like <coughs> soak up all this time with like the people that I meet here. Yeah, especially only one semester. Yeah, right. I know, it's scary. <laughs> it's scary though, you're still very young. How old are you? I'm 19. Yeah. I went to a community college in high school. My senior year in high school, I was full-time college oh, student. Oh, okay. You changed for how many credits? Um, I think I had like like 22 okay. or something like that. Okay. Maybe more. I worked really, really <coughs> hard in high school. I School was like everything. I was in all the clubs. And okay. I was working. So you are a very goal-oriented student. Yeah. How... How that transferred your college? You do the same attitude? Um, I think I'm more laid back now. Like I still like I need to like I need to get an A still. Yeah. But I'm like calmer about it. Like yeah. it's okay if it like it's not perfect. Or well, I just want to try to do everything to the best of my ability. It doesn't have to be yeah. perfection. So which Ariana you like? Um, <laughs> the relaxed one or go oriented one? I mean, the goal-oriented Ariana could do so much more. I feel like I get tired way more easier now, and I'm okay. uh, like stressed out easier, so okay. I feel like maybe I prefer the high school me, but oh. I like being relaxed at the oh. same time. Okay, but if I is a high school Ariana now, Okay. look at your updated Ariana in college. Yeah. Okay, tell me how much you admire me. I 
like that I can give myself time to just enjoy things mm -hmm. and that I can have fun and not feel guilty about it. Okay. So that's mean we we can always have different way yeah. of life. <laughs> Sometimes if you work too hard before, mm -hmm. you may find guilty for that relax much too much. I did at first because I'm not someone like who can like sit still and my mom really instilled that into us as like kids like really you shouldn't be sitting around you shouldn't be taking naps really like, you need to do something really yeah well then your mom just like my father <laughs> when i take nap he always say no that's me you're lazy yeah so i still have that sleep anxiety yeah still now <laughs> <laughs> if i take nap during the daytime i feel I have to like deserve the nap. Like then there has to be something that I did that is nap deserving. Oh, <laughs> really? Like, really? Yeah. You mean say, okay, I finished this chapter, I deserve a nap. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Do you think so? Do you think if you'll be a parent in the future, do you think that'll be a good strategy to have keep your kids to not <laughs> relax? No, because <laughs> I feel like like sometimes you just need to relax your mind for like a little bit. Yeah. You no. Know? Right. I think that's a good one. The to learn to relax. Because I'm the oldest. Yeah. So I felt like you I are... needed to be my mom when she wasn't around. So like uh, I would embrace what she did and give it to, to my siblings. Sibling. Yeah. So you are the second mom. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but when we talk about ever and I talk about birth order, yeah. So how do you think about as a first child and as a as important figure, even as a mom? It made me mom. really mature and like very like independent because my parents they worked constantly. Yeah. So sometimes I didn't see them at all. Oh. So I felt like I really had to like step into their role and yeah. like help my brother and sister with school. Like wow. I even signed their permission slips. Really. So, yeah, like I really felt like I had to Take grow up them. faster wow. so that I could be there for them. The, do you remember since what age? Um, I guess like eight or nine, I felt like my parents started like trusting me more to really? like do things for them. And then wow. at 10 or 11, I was yeah. home alone with them. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so how how they survive now? You are away home from to college. <sighs> That was okay. Um, I think they're doing all right. Oh, <laughs> like I lo love them and I'm very proud of them. Yeah. But I definitely feel like if I was there, things would be better. Oh. Like I feel like I keep them in line and I can like, I really like. I'm very controlling. Okay. <laughs> and I feel like when I'm not there, things fall apart because oh. people don't care as much about their yeah. lives as I care about. Yeah. But, so yeah. when you back home for summer, did you? Ultimately, back to the role. Oh yeah. 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 <laughs> I just say I clean, come I back. cleaned it up. <laughs> really? Yeah. So how they how they adjust? Um, they they without mom for a whole semester. <laughs> now the mommies come back. <laughs> yeah. They they definitely like miss me because it's not like I'm not just like authority. Like I do yeah. like to do things with them. Like yeah. we go to the beach together. But yeah. when I get back, they're very yeah. resistant to yeah. fall back in order. Really? They like being lazy they don't yeah. like cleaning huh. every day yeah like school but so yeah. how do you start it how do you say okay now i'm in charge again <laughs> give, give me an example how i do you feel do? like it's almost natural like really? i'm home and it's like all right here we go i mean they're definitely resistant yeah but i mean what i say goes or really? things yeah your words is the power <laughs> yeah wow yeah. so how many you have a how many siblings you have? I have a sister and a brother. Yeah. My sister is 14 and my brother is 13. Oh, so they're still in a young age. Yeah. Wow, so you are, you, you are the as only child for a while. Yeah, my mom had me in high school, so yeah. she, I mean, they weren't planning on having kids. Yeah. <laughs> that, then your parents have, and your mother have them later. Yeah. Wow. So yeah. you're really, uh, you are really a mom. Yeah. So, did you resist it when your mother started having other kids? I did a little bit at first, like, because when my mom had my sister, I was in Georgia. Like, I had stayed in Georgia that whole summer, so when I got back, yeah. there was a, I was sharing a room and I had this... <laughs> you started having a baby, as yeah. a baby sister. I was very, like, I was so angry. I, I did not How like old her. are you in that time? Eight? I think I was five. 
your yeah. file. Did not like it. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. I was always like the golden child. I know. Yeah. For five years. Mm -hmm. And But you know baby's coming. Yeah. You know, it just didn't really picture. Yeah, because I was away for a lot of the pregnancy, like three months I was with my Nana and Papa. So when I came home and there was a baby, I was like, <laughs> what well, is that? When your brother come in, what happened? Um, by that time, like when my brother came, I was like, oh, whatever. Yeah. It's just another baby. Yeah. And I felt like I started to become like more protective. Yeah. Because my parents like they would fight a lot, and I sometimes uh -huh. when they would fight, I feel like they you would neglect. Like, taking care of the yeah. brother and sister. Yeah. Wow. Is this experience shape your somehow your future life, your goal, your career? Uh, yeah. Um, my, my brother he was molested. So, oh. yeah, and I feel like that, like, I very, like, personally, like, want to help children who went through that, oh, because okay. I feel like he really, like, blocked out a lot of things from in, our childhood. In what age? He was, it was my 11th birthday when it happened, yeah. so I think okay. he was, um, he was five. Oh. Yeah. And do you know who's the perpetrator? Yeah. Okay. And what do yeah. they do? Do they address him? No. No, no. He really? he didn't get charged. He had uh, the perpetrator had uh, mental disabilities. Okay. So they sent him to like uh, some kind of like Men mental institution. facility. Yeah. Okay. But he didn't um, withstand any charges. Okay. I've always been like like a like a nurturer. I always want to help the people that I love. So. Wow. I felt like I like failed to protect him because uh. I because I think I want to go to law school. Oh. I really want to help like families who have like kids who have been molested or yeah. like, sexually assaulted so i think i want to do like pros prosecuting yeah like, family prosecuting maybe yeah wow so mm -hmm. even you you still like 19 yeah but you have been carrying a thou job <laughs> yeah <laughs> for 14 years so what do you think in the future if you get married what do you how do you protect your family um i don't know because i don't want to have kids for a while like okay. i feel like I was, you, you already have two. I already have two. <laughs> like they're gonna graduate, and once maybe they graduate, maybe I'll think about having my own children. Oh, so it looks like you take very strong res responsibility. Yeah. For them. Mm -hmm. Do you think they appreciate or? My sister definitely appreciates it a lot. Like it took her a while because okay. forever she was like, "You're always just your bossy. You just you're telling us what to do." But like. Recently, like as she's gotten older, she yeah. really appreciates everything I've done. Yeah. And I think my brother's getting there, but I mean, he's a boy, it takes yeah. longer. Yeah. So, yeah. If you are writing the book, what kind of book you are going to write? I probably talk a lot about like like the hardships I went through. Like okay. my dad is very like he is a felon. Mm -hmm. A lot of his criminal stuff is like him like hurt us. My my parents' relationship was very rocky. Okay. My mom held a lot of resentment oh. against me for a long time, which oh, I really I, yeah, which I understand because like I took away her future, her, her pregnancy with me. Like she didn't get to go to college and stuff like that. Oh. And then I, but they should be appreciated because of that they have this beautiful girl. They appreciate me. My my mom is really proud of me, and I think really? my dad is too. I mean like. I don't know. He, I feel like he doesn't really pay attention as much, but sometimes, like, I hear him talk about me. I'm like, oh, he actually does know a little uh, bit about my life. So okay. I talk about like my relationship with my siblings and yeah. like, how that all built me to who I yeah. am today. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So a lot of things you can be in your in your chapters. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Knowing your family is really need you all this, but you still did so good in in school, like. Be yeah. Even in high school, you take <laughs> all the college courses. How do you set aside the time? This is my time to study. How do you able to focus? I guess like I was just like I was very like I had so many things going on. If I wasn't organized, like yeah. it would all fall apart. Okay. So like I was in all of the clubs. I had a set schedule for my job yeah. and like my courses. So yeah. I'd wake up early in the morning, yeah. do my courses because I didn't go to school yeah. until like later. Go yeah. to school, go to the clubs, come home, yeah. make sure Belle and Chris did their chores, yeah. have their homework done, make yeah. sure they were fed, yeah. and then go do more homework. And yeah. when that was all done, I yeah. could talk to my boyfriend or yeah. hang out with friends. Wow. So usually, like everything I wanted them to have done was yeah. usually done while I was doing it. 
So Hope let's do together. Yeah. In, oh, Homework okay. was a little bit harder because yeah. I don't I don't always understand what they were doing in their classes. Yeah. So I mean sometimes like I would like literally ask their teachers because yeah. our school all connected the in the whole building the whole building. Okay. So what you do? You go to their class? Sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> I one of um her my sister's teachers. I yeah. was friends with her daughter, so like, okay. I would see her all the time. And be like, yeah. oh, Bella's struggling in this. Like, yeah. How do I? Yeah. How do we do this? Yeah. But, and then yeah. what? Then they teach you how to teach. <laughs> yeah. How do you teach your sister? Or sometimes they would just give them like more extra attention because my brother and sister were in this program like called Reach, yeah. where they like would do their homework and like they would also help like younger kids with their homework. Yeah. So. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Do they come and tell you like your sister need attention, your brother? Do they? Do you see te parent, te teacher tell you this rather than tell tell your parents? Um, sometimes, yeah. Like my um my band director, would be like your brother haven't done the past three playing assignments. Like, yeah, you need to get him on that. Yeah, because just when you away from, to the college, um, how how's that? Absolutely. It was fun. definitely really hard because we had just moved into a new house. Yeah. And um, my sister, she was on probation. And, okay. Like, we were on a period where we were very afraid to leave her alone because okay. she was like unsafe to leave her by herself. What's so, Minka? Why is she on probation? Um, she she had an assault charge at school when she was twelve. Really? Um, uh, some drug things okay. and um, vandalism. Okay. Problems at school, stuff like that. Okay. But she's great now. She's, yeah. she's doing, I'm very proud okay. of her. Okay. So it was really hard to leave because they both needed to work to, yeah. you know, be able to pay this new higher rent, and yeah. like, there was no one there for my brother and sister. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's why you say you feel like you want to be there with them. Yeah. Just one thing, another, another, like, Ariana! Yeah, and I'm, I'm coming. It sucked because like my freshman year, I didn't want them to tell me what was going on at home because okay. it would just stress me out. Okay. Because yeah. you are just here. Yeah. Try work hard, and then by that part, still need you. Yeah. Yeah. And my mom, like, she tried to never like tell me like when things were bad were happening. Yeah. But my dad would always be like, "We need you to come back yeah. here." And, like, <laughs> We, I miss you so much because I need you to take care of my kids. Yeah. You cannot. You look like you are 19 outside. Yeah. You are inside. I think you look like you are <laughs> very mature. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. Now tell Ariana. Give Ariana a feedback. All have, Ariana have been done all this. I mean, I think that it was very strong of me to be able to handle all those things. and. I'm very proud of myself for being persistent or like independence or something like that. Persistent and independence. Yeah. Wow. You didn't say anything about caregiver. <laughs> I mean, like I am a caregiver, but like I like stride myself on being able to like do everything by myself. Like do everything for them on my own. Do everything for me on my own. So you you always make sure you have been taking care yeah. yourself. Yeah. And then you taking care of them. Yeah. Right. So you know if you're doing better, you you set a good role model for them. Yeah. So rather than just sacrifice yourself, you build yourself up. Yeah. Uh, if your parents sit here and ask them about you, what mm -hmm. are they, what are they going to say? Oh, my mom can talk about me forever. Really? Yeah. She, and then she's what she say about you? She'd probably say that like I'm like very helpful and like okay. I'm really smart. And, yeah. Like, hardworking. Okay. So she like you. Yeah. My mom, uh, she loves me. And she's proud of you. Yeah. Okay. How about your dad? Um, I think my dad like he would probably say like hardworking. He'd probably say like I'm very good with my yeah. like taking care of the household. Okay. <clears throat> you really have a lot of job and responsibility. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. So how do you how do you survive yourself mentally um, with all these different things around you? It's really, really stressful lately because yeah. like I feel like a pull towards uh, all these yeah, different places. Yeah, I want everyone, Ariana. I want some yeah. piece of you. And I really feel like like I need to figure everything out for me like yeah. soon because okay. I'm going to graduate. Yeah, and that's a lot of stress. Yeah. I think most important, regardless, you need to have yourself. Yeah. You know, you will be the central attention. Yeah. And then you can help in people, but then you don't want just just pull into your direction. 
Yeah. But I think you have, so far you've been very good with handle all this. Yeah. Right? Because at the end of the day, like, I really, like, I just want to make something of myself. Yeah. And I want to be able to be successful so that I don't yeah. have to worry about these things anymore. And yeah. I can just take care, like, I'll be able to take care of everyone once I have my own job. And, yeah. Like, I have yeah. money. And, yeah. yeah, you just buy a big house. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just, everybody, uh, everyone can move love. in. <laughs> everybody move in. And I believe the love you give to them already strong enough. They can use it. Yeah. But hopefully, gradually, they they can be your friend rather than just be your client. <laughs> yeah, I definitely think we're getting there. Like my brother and sister, like I especially during like this is the divorce. Like I've seen so much yeah. maturity in my little yeah. brother that I've never seen before. Oh. And like I feel like they're they're finally like grown up. Wow. Yeah. I I don't think anybody would would not be liking you. Oh. Because you are you. I think you're a likable person. Thank you. Yeah. So with all the theory we learn, is any theory you find that wow that's actually uh, you can apply to your life or somebody you know? I guess like I have Frankel because he yeah. was like you can like use your past as an advantage in the fu future and yeah. I've like taken that with me a lot. Okay. Yeah. Wow. You find the f you think it's a fun the meaning of life is important. Yeah. Wow. So before we end this video, that tell other people also have situation that you have so many things at home you need you give mm -hmm. them some advice. <laughs> um. I guess it's just like it's really important to manage your time yeah. and make sure you have time where you can just maybe have nothing to do. Like it's very important to just be able to relax sometimes so mm -hmm. your mind can settle. Because mm -hmm. like sometimes like if I don't give myself that amount of time when I go to sleep, I can't sleep because all I, finally my mind is settling because I never gave myself time to relax. Okay, so time to relax. Time no. to relax. No, no matter how uh, surrounding the chaos, yeah, doesn't matter. You just need to be yourself. Yeah. Wow. And it's okay not to get things done sometimes. Yeah. yeah. Because we always have tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And our tomorrow may be smarter than today. <laughs> <laughs> so the thing we're not able to find a solution today, tomorrow. Yeah. When you wake up, you realize. Oh, I understand this. Why, why struggle yesterday? Well, because you are smarter now. Yeah. Wow. And you're still very young. Only 19. <laughs> you're not yeah. even drinking age yet. No. Nope. That's good. Precious your young age <laughs> before you get to 20. Right? And mm -hmm. I really appreciate you uh, share with me. Of all this and hopefully for those of you if you hear when you hear a Rihanna story you need you know you're not alone everybody have their uh, struggle but then as long as you keep yourself together you know you move on and then other people will move along with you yeah. right yeah thank you mm -hmm. bye bye